Welcome to a lovely ancient town and the world's heritage site, Hoi An. Hoi An Ancient Town is located in Guangdong Province near the mouth of Dubong River. It is an exceptionally well-preserved example of a Southeast Asian trading port dating from the 15th to the 19th century. Its buildings and street plan reflect the influences, both indigenous and foreign, that have combined to produce this unique heritage site. Fukian Assembly Hall was founded in 1690 and served the largest Chinese ethnic group in Hoi An or the Fujian. You must visit this assembly hall to discover an excellent work of architecture. Behind me is Japanese covered bridge. When we say covered bridge, that means the bridge is covered with the roof. This bridge is the highlight of Hoi An ancient town and it was built by the Japanese back in the early 17th century. Hoi An has been flooded from time to time in the past and this shows the level of the flood for some years in the past. It went as high as above 3 meter in 1964. Just one hour drive from Hoi An and we have arrived here at UNESCO's World Heritage Site. This place was listed in 1999. Here we are at Misan Sanctuary. This place is the complex of Hindu temples and towers and is the symbol of Jampa art that was continuously developed during the 4th to the 13th century. Mishan means beautiful mountain and it is regarded by locals as Meru Mountain. So the water that flows from the mountain becomes a holy stream here that flows into the river. The ancient Jampa people were raised to be the master of art in building bricks. So far the technique in building the ancient temple and towers of Jampa people remains controversial. The bricks were smoothed and laid closely and securely without mortar. Misan's value is also reflected in the art of lively and fine sculpture and carving on bricks, stones from the images of deities, priests, dances, plants, animals and sacrifices. Hello. Hi, yeah. us. I'm also, yeah. Welcome to Green House Museum. Yeah. So I'm very happy to show you some information about the ancient house of Vietnam in the past. Right. And How old is the house? The other houses in the museum are over 150 to 200 years old. Oh. And people keep intact today. Okay. And you call Vina House? Vina House. Vina, Vina is, is the word. Vina is stands for Vietnam, for Vietnam and house is the ancient house of Vietnam in the past. Okay. 
So in the past, most of Vietnamese people live in this house. Mm. So this is the first house, the bamboo house. Bamboo house. Oh, yeah, you have many bam- types. Yeah. This is the first. We have a lot of type house. This oh. is a bamboo house. The bamboo house often for the poor people or the farmer in the past. Uh, the poor people. Poor people. Yeah, because they didn't they didn't have enough money to build mm. a house with goods, uh-huh. so they often live in this house. Now we continue to visit another house in the museum. Mm-hmm. So this house is the mandarin house in Khoi oh. there in Vietnam. Mandarin house. Mandarin house. Oh. And the owner of this house played an important role for the king. Oh. He and his father supported for the king in the national protection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this house has three compartments mm. and two wings. Oh, okay. And in the past, the king laid out the rule. Nobody could peel the house over three compartments. Oh. Only the king have the right to build the house with five compartments. Oh. So if you come in the house, you see the number of compartments, you can oh. guess what position of the owner. And in Vietnam, the middle room is very important mm-hmm. because people often used to worship the family member oh. to worship. Mm. And the past yeah, family the members. The family member. Here I am at Tanha Pottery Village. This is a traditional village of more than 50 houses. And it dates back to as long as the end of the 15th century, just before uh, Hoi An Port was uh, developed. And this place is located about three kilometers west of Hoi An ancient town. The products locally made here are very important because it plays an important role in the development of Hoi An ancient town. The products include jars, pots, bowls, tiles, and bricks. Although they have experienced various challenges over time, economic difficulties and foreign competition, the local people are always trying to preserve a traditional profession inherited from their ancestors. The techniques that are, they use are unique and very different from those prevalent in other provinces. Therefore, the village is more of a live museum and it holds precious documentation resources for scientists who study about traditional pottery in Vietnam and in Southeast Asia. A lot of people told me about this silk village and actually I don't know what to do here. Uh, in Seal Village, you can see people make silk by uh-huh. traditional way, uh-huh. and then uh, you see how people weave fabric. Uh-huh. And here you can see the Vietnamese weaving and uh-huh. Champa people weaving. Ah, uh-huh. Champa people. Yes. One of the minority group in Vietnam. In Vietnam. All right. In the history development, Vietnamese and Jampa people had a good relationship in marriage, customs, living style. Especially in traditional occupation of mulberry growing, silk worm raising and silk weaving. And what are they doing now? Two ladies here are get silk from cocoon. Mm. By putting in the hot water. Yeah. So the one will die. Will die. <laughs> yes. And then we get this thread. Mm-hmm. How, how long is one cocoon for the thread? You know, one cocoon might from one continuous thread, oh. and about six hundred meter to one kilometer. Oh wow! One kilometer. Yeah. Do you have aoyai silk? Yes. And one aoyai. How many kilometers of thread do you need? I don't know, but one aoyai we need about five thousand cocoon. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Hi, also has a lot of beautiful beaches. This morning, we woke up a little early to see the sunrise here at a local beach, Ang Bang Beach. It is worth coming here in the morning to see the life of the local people here. They love exercising here in the morning, they love swimming in the seawater, although it's a little cold this morning, but it's like a routine for the local people here. 
And this beach, Angbang Beach, also has been voted as one of the most beautiful beaches in Asia. As you know, uh, we are in the uh, vegetable village. Okay. But the uh, the interesting thing about the village is uh, they just use the organic fertilizer. Okay. Some places in Vietnam they use uh, chemicals uh -huh. and and uh, pesticides. So but, it's uh, not this, good. Yeah. It's not good. But in this village, they just use the uh, organic fertilizer. Yeah. But uh, the organic fertilizer here is the the river wheat, taken from the river, and uh, they oh. have been doing that for uh, 300 years. 300 years? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So they like produce vegetables yeah. for Hoi An town? For, for Hoi An town. You know, Hoi An is a tourist city. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to keep the tourists safe. Mm -hmm. If they got poison, uh. they won't come here again. Okay. That's why, you know, <laughs> they need to keep on going like that. Yes. Yeah. They're growing about 20 kinds of uh, vegetables here. Yes. Yeah, then they supply to all the restaurants in the city. Uh, 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 yeah. uh. Today, uh, there are about 130 families. Wow. Who are working uh, uh, in the uh, plantation here? Okay. Yeah. And what are the the plants here? Yeah, like see, uh, this is the uh, lettuce. You know, lettuce. Lettuce. Is lettuce. Over there, spring onion. Spring, spring onion. onion. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you notice, just the the middle-aged people and oh. the the old people are working oh. here. Okay. Yeah, that's the uh, the the sad thing about the place. Oh. You know, young people they uh, they think that uh, working here they not they they not earning so much money. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As they move to big city. Yeah, big city. How about now? Are they moving back? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, they try to uh, combine the tourist business mm. with the farm work. For example, they let the the tourists come here uh. and do the farm work, learn the farmers' experience with the local people here. Right. Yeah. Fly to Hoi An via Da Nang Airport with Bangkok Airways. Stay tuned for the next episode. Please subscribe.